And uh, this is the ventilation for the shed. I've got it turned down right now because it's the weather is a lot cooler. So this is like a 10 or 12 dollar radiator fan. So it says 12 volts at 80 watts. And I've run this for two seasons. This is the, at least the second season I've run it. And it's done a terrific job keeping my shed from getting too hot. Uh, it's usually three to five degrees above ambient. Um, down on the floor where I store everything that I care about. So that works. I have a PWM controller here. And I can just use that to adjust the speed of the fan. Right now I'm running at about five volts average just to keep some cold air coming in because it will eventually heat the shed up. The sunshine will eventually heat the shed up even though it's cool weather. And this just ensures that there's some fresh air coming in. It pressurizes the shed and forces the hot air out. And it's been working very well. I don't know how long this is going to work. Um, I hope to get several seasons out of it. I don't run it very hard uh, when I don't have to. And it, it gets going pretty good if you have to. On a really hot day, I can turn it up really, really high. So it doesn't look too impressive. It's uh, it's not a purpose-built ventilation fan. It's actually for automotive. But it is doing the job, and it wasn't very expensive. And I can replace it if I have to. Just take the screws out. I can put a plug right there and just plug a new fan in. Uh, or maybe there's a better fan I'll find eventually. But I gotta say, a car radiator fan, if you don't run it at full blast, is actually very good for ventilating your shed. So far, it seems to be the case.